The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for the Diagnostic Trading Hour with your host, Daryl Martin. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Daryl Martin. Here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. And let's check out where the markets are at right now. We got the S&P down 10 points, the Russell down 9, NASDAQ down 15, and the Dow down 112 points. And let's see here. And uh, let's see, we got uh, copper right here is currently uh, down a little bit. It's pretty much flat on the day along with uh, gold. It's pretty flat. It's just been chopping back and forth around 13, 18 there. Uh, silver is currently uh, down about half percent. We got natural gas is, uh, let's see, down 0.13. We got oil down or up 0.62%. Corn is, uh, which is about a 64 cent, 65 cent move. We got corn is up a buck 75. Soybeans up 18 bucks and 25 cents. Uh, looking on over at Euro dollar, it is up 11 pips. We got Aussie dollar down 11. We got pound dollar down 45. We got dollar franc down 18. Dollar cat is up 32. Dollar yen is currently, um, looks like it's up three pips on the day. Aussie yen is up three. Euro yen is currently, oh, wait, Aussie yen is down two. Euro yen is up 17. Pound yen is down 46. And Euro pound is up 31. Okay. Let's check out a few other things in the market. Uh, one thing I want to do is I want to do a little analysis. And let's see here. Pull this up. And uh, we'll look at a few of the different trades. We'll talk about uh, some of the news pieces and all that that are coming out in the next week. It's been a pretty quiet week overall. You know, we had PPI this morning. You could have went in on that one um, and butterflied it, basically. But, I mean, it's just, you know, down move, up move, down move. And uh, we called out some trades this morning on the air. And, uh, you know, we uh, got to do this sort of light. We were going through, you know, there's a lot of little things we were going through today, but... We'll uh, talk about some of those and what I was looking at when I was doing those trades. So you can uh, sort of, you know, learn to follow along. Um, if you haven't done it already, make sure to hop on over to TFNN.com. On the right side of the page, click on Nadex. Once you've done that, click on Trading and click on Demo Trading Account. And once you got that step knocked out, then just fill in the uh, username, first name, last name, phone number, email address, uh, put all the info in there, click apply for demo, and then you'll uh, get an email, and that email will provide you with the password. You'll be able to log in to the account, and uh, you'll be able to get going. You'll give you $25,000 of funny money, and uh, when you log in, you can uh, start working on uh, building up that demo account. But, uh, and it is interesting. I'll see people that go, well, I don't trade demo. Demo's for losers. You know, demo's fake. It's not real. Uh, yes and no. Okay? To say demo is not real. But it's to say practice isn't real before, you know, a professional uh, sports game. Yeah, you don't get points for what you do in practice. But you don't get points in the game if you don't practice, okay? Um, you don't learn how to stop the other team from making points, you know, also known as taking losses, if you don't practice. And, you know, one of the things I remember, um, you know, Deion Sanders. So, uh, you know, played for the, 40, what was it, the 49ers and the Cowboys. And uh, one of the things he did was he'd go in and... They would just be doing like short, like 20, 30 yard passes, okay? And he would literally he'd catch, he'd run it into the end zone every single time during practice. And people would be like, dude, what, dude, why are you running like another like 60 yards? And that makes absolutely no sense. Uh, you know, it's practice, man. And the guy's like, 
if I can't do it during practice, why would I expect to be able to do it during the game? And he's like, I treat practice like it's real. If I catch that ball, I have one intent, get to the end zone as fast as possible. And, you know, he's a great player. Um, and you know, his teammates actually started doing the same thing. <laughs> and uh, obviously it impacted. They did very well. So the teams that he played on. And But it's that mentality, that understanding that you have to go in and have to say, I'm going to treat this like it's real. And I'm also just going to learn, you know, the muscle memory, which really in trading is part of it, the muscle memory is just knowing where to click so you don't make stupid mistakes. We've all done them, okay? And sometimes you still make them every once in a while. Um, some of them, it's, it's just mental memory. It's getting it down. When I see this, I do this. When, almost so well that it's hard to explain to somebody that you just get it that well. And I don't mean like you can't explain it because you don't know what you're doing because it's not repeatable. I mean, it's just you're like having to think back of, okay, when I had to actually think about this, what did I do? And it's really the four stages of learning. I'm not sure if anybody's ever taught this to you or not, but uh, I know I've mentioned it a couple times in a couple previous shows, but uh, we'll go over it and because this, this is really, really applicable to traders. And the first stage in you know, learning is where you go in and you're basically, you're unconsciously, let's see if I spell that one right, exactly, unconsciously incompetent. You don't even know that you don't know. Okay, this was, uh, let's say if we're talking Nadex, I mean, we could be talking Futures, Forks, whatever. You didn't even know that you didn't know how to trade binaries because you didn't know they existed. My son, you know, he's 18 months old. He doesn't know that he has, he doesn't know how to tie shoes. Most of the time, he won't even keep his shoes on, and they're definitely Velcro, but he didn't know that he doesn't know how to tie shoes. He didn't understand that there's, if there's strings there, they're meant to be pulled, they're not meant to be tied. He doesn't even get it, okay? He's unaware of his inability to do something. And then came, you know, my, now my daughter, obviously now she, you know, knows how to do it, but she became, you know, consciously, as she got older, you know, incompetent. You know, at first it's, Daddy, can you tie my shoe? Daddy, can you tie my shoe? And then, you know, that's, I don't know how to do it. So you acknowledge that there is something I need to know how to do, but I don't know how to do it yet. Okay, and this is where, like, this is sort of, you know, the enlightenment stage. You have to, like, to move past this, you have to get enlightened somehow. Somebody has to show you something you didn't know. To move on to this stage, to consciously competent, okay, this is the education stage. So to move past consciously incompetent to consciously competent, you have to go in and, okay, so that's consciously competent. I can't spell for anything. That's what spell checks for. But um, I married an English teacher. She takes care of most of that. Um, and to move to that stage, you have to do education. And when you do that, yeah, okay, there we go. When you move to that stage, this is where people go, I, I'm paying money, I don't want to pay money and trade in demo. And I literally, I saw somebody say, like, yeah, I, I can't imagine trading in demo while I'm paying money. And I'm like, do you understand that education, the goal is survival, long enough to actually figure out how to do it, okay? You're just trying to survive. The goal is not, the goal is not making money in trading to go from consciously incompetent, from knowing that you don't know how to do something to knowing how to do something, your goal is simply survival. And well, I don't want to pay, you know, 200 bucks a month or 100 bucks a month for a course, okay? I get that, you know, but I mean, think about how much do you pay for a college course? $1,000, easy, okay, a couple grand for something that's going to teach you how to weave baskets or dance or, you know, do basic algebra math or take a finance class that has nothing to do with the market, okay? So most education and trading is actually a lot cheaper than education that can make you absolutely nothing. But 
to go, I'm going to pay for my education, but I'm going to trade live immediately, even though I'm not consciously competent yet, okay? Because to me, it's not real, it's not worth doing, is like going in as a trader and basically what you're doing is you're saying, I'm going to pay another, I'll pay 100 bucks for the education a month, but I'll pay $1,000 in losses from making mistakes. So I'm going to pay 1100 a month because I don't want to pay 100 a month and do demo. I'd much rather pay 1100 a month and do live. That's really what you're saying. It's, that's the reality of trading. And you've been there. I've been there. Okay? Now, what I will say is I studied for nine months before I placed my first trade ever. Okay? Before I actually placed my first live trade, I studied for nine months. Part of that, I didn't have any money. <laughs> okay? And the other part was the money I was going to get came out of my wife's retirement fund. So we cashed it out. And uh, so I didn't really want to lose that. Um, out of the gate. And it doesn't mean I wasn't going to lose it, but I at least wanted to, you know, hey, say I'd worked on this. And uh, so conscious competence, huge. Um, you got to have the education. You, you got to figure out how to use the platform. You got to have your data feed set up. You got to know how to do different order types. You got to know how settlement expiration works. You got to know how mark to market works. You got to know what limit orders, limit days are, and market orders are. You, I mean, you got to know what margin is. You got to know how P and L is calculated. Um, you got to know how exercise works. You know, I mean, you just got to learn all the vernacular. I mean, that's part of the conscious incompetence going to consciously competent. What? And even past, you get up past all that. Now you actually have to learn how to implement it. When am I going to get in? What's the right instrument? What's the right time? What's the you know right market? How do I need to set my stops? How do I need to set my entries? How do I need to set my take profits? How do I need to trail my stops? Um. And I will tell you right now, there's a ton of education that's free, and there's a ton of great free education out there, okay? But it's only going to take you to a certain point, and it's going to take you a lot longer. So you want to find somebody who's doing something that knows what they're doing. Um, you know, watch them, listen to them, see, okay? It's not too hard to figure it out. And that's the person you want to latch on to. Why are you paying? You're paying actually to expedite your learning. So again, there's a ton of great free education out there in the markets, but what you want to do is you want to have education that's gonna, um, you know, take you to that next page. And let's see here. The uh, next thing, so we got conscious uh, competence here, and you know what's gonna take you from conscious competence to the next level, which is the level where you really want to be. We'll talk about that when we get back from this break, okay? If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. 
Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Investors, Taz Market Research delivers to its subscribers expert commentary on the analysis of 15 different markets each day. Get this invaluable and timely information through the daily market research videos Taz Market Research produces each day before 9 a.m. The video analysis will include reports on currencies, interest rates, indices, metals, energies, grains, and more. You'll be able to gauge where high profitability setups are in each of the markets. Receive a free two-week trial subscription to Taz Market Research videos on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN is back with another Tiger Dollar special, and as part of this promotion, not only can you receive up to a 25% bonus on whatever you spend, but you can also gain access to a five-part live webinar series with Tom O'Brien taking place the week of April 28th. Each morning during the week at 8 a.m., Tom O'Brien will walk you through how he sets up the market live and digest the previous day's trading action while analyzing overnight markets abroad in order to anticipate what kind of trading day to expect. Each 60-minute live morning webinar will be archived by around 9.30 a.m. that very morning so that if you can't attend live, it'll be available for your viewing pleasure on demand whenever you're ready. Tiger Dollars can be used for any TFNN newsletter or service, and they never expire. So now is a great time to lock in extra savings on all TFNN products. Don't miss out on Tom O'Brien's five-part webinar series. Get your Tiger Dollars today with up to a 25% bonus on whatever you spend before this special is over by visiting TFNN.com. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesamento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Daryl takes your phone calls <laughs> now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. All right, folks, come on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. And so what we're doing right now is we're going over these four steps, Okay. Uh, the four steps of diagnostic, or not really diagnostic trading, uh, just the four steps of mastery of anything. And then we're applying it to trading specifically. And so the first step was unconsciously incompetent, okay? Not knowing that you don't know that you don't know. And um, the next step is consciously incompetent. And that's where you now know that you don't know something, Okay. And uh, and that's where you start gathering education. It can be slow. You can do it all free online. Go to Barnes and Noble and read their books. You know stuff like that. Attend all the free seminars you can get. You're only gonna get so far on free. Uh, and then you can try to work it all out yourself and spend a lot of time trying to work it out. But the goal right here is survival long enough to actually get to where eventually you can trade live, where you actually know what you're doing. And so during this stage, you are in pure demo. Okay? And you realize the fact that demo is simply the practice before the game, and you don't jump into the game because here's the issue. You only have so much money. And if you lose it all trading while learning how to trade, you won't have it to come back with. Now, most traders, have you have pretty much almost always, all successful traders I know, at one point or another, almost lost everything, if not all of it, okay? And had to come back. We've learned the hard way, you know? Um, we've all been there. We've all done it. But 
definitely don't want to do it out of the gate. And, you know, experience in trading is the most expensive teacher. It is not the best teacher. You know, we always, oh, experience the best teacher. No, it's, it's the most painful teacher, okay? It beats you with a stick, okay? And a lot worse sometimes. So you don't want to learn via experience. Yes, experience will make you a better trader, but it should not make you a profitable trader. Follow along with somebody. Get the education. Expedite it. Yes, there is expense, but it's so much cheaper than trading live and making all the mistakes and still not even knowing what you did wrong. Okay? Then comes consciously competent. That's where you actually are figuring it out. You know what's going on. You can place the trades. You basically have you understand the rules. You're starting to execute by the rules. You're gonna master discipline. And by the way, number two takes an incredible amount of discipline. But you know what? So does number four. You cannot trade live and make money over a long period of time unless you have mastered discipline. And if you're not willing to practice before you play, you aren't gonna win when you play in the long term. Okay? So master that discipline. Demo until you're consistent. And demo with real sizes. Don't go in and do like, hey, I did 100 contracts and made $10. I made 1000 bucks today. Are you, what, is your account going to do 100 contracts? Was that realistic? You know, be realistic in your size. Um, I've even told people before to go in, and you can either call the broker. They usually won't raise your limit way up. Um, none of the ones I know will. But they will set it down. Okay? They'll like, let's say, like, Nadex. Like, I don't think they'll raise your limit up, but... Um, you can call them and you can say, "Hey, can you reduce my amount to a thousand, or just go in and lose twenty-four grand?" Okay, just go in and do like something really stupid that's just not going to make money, like a real far out of the money trade or something, and just throw in as many contracts as you can. And then you can call them back up. You can always reset it back up, but make it the same size as whatever your live account is going to be funded with. That puts a lot more pressure on. When you have twenty-five grand in there, it's nothing to make or lose. You know, twenty bucks. When you have a thousand bucks. You start losing 50 bucks, 50 bucks, 50 bucks, you start feeling it more. So mimic your live account, at least in size, I, I mean your demo account, and then try to, if you can, get the demo account to be the same size as what you're going to fund with. Okay? And you've got to get down the mental and the muscle memory, where to click, what to do, how to act, how to respond, and it can never be about your profit and loss. It has to be about what's on the chart. Okay? Now, the only exception I say to profit and loss is like when there's a cap, you know, like it's a vertical or a spread or a binary or, you know, whatever. I mean, there, there are reasons, but the chart should ultimately be telling you what to do. Not like, oh, I'm up, I better take money, you know, because your profit, you know, you're going to give away a lot of money or you're going to take a much bigger loss because you're doing or taking losses too soon or taking profits too soon. All that stuff it needs to be based on the chart. You build it without emotion. And the only way you're going to do it without emotion is first doing it so many times in demo. Second, when you go live, minimum size. One, and then as quick as you can, minimum size two. All right, we'll keep building on this when we get back. But if you'll take these steps, or if you haven't been successful, if you'll go back to these steps, it'll help you out a ton. We'll be right back in a few minutes. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Andy Heck's powerful weekly newsletter, The Technamental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now's the perfect time to get a full-month-long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. 
and he publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, so just a reminder on the demo right here, go to Nadex.com to get your demo account. Click on Trading. And then click on Demo Trading Account, okay? So that's where you get your demo account. Also, uh, they used to. They probably still do somewhere at the bottom of the page. I have the demo link. Let's see here. There it is. See, under trading, Demo Trading Account, the very bottom of the page as well, it's available. So if you're looking for that, that's where you can get access to it, okay? Now to open that live account, you just click on Create Account right here at the top. And that's to create a live account. All right. So uh, that should get you going on that. But, okay, let's get back to going from, you know, we talked about unconsciously incompetent. You don't know that you don't know what you're doing. You don't even know that options exist. You don't even know that binaries exist. You've heard of stocks. What are futures? What are forex? That's currency or something, right? FX? Is FX forex? You know, those types of questions. Um, I hear them every week. And then, you know, you get enlightened. You learn a little bit. Okay? Now, you're, I want to make some money doing that. You're making I want to make money. So uh, you start getting into it. You realize how much you don't know. And uh, you find something, and you just follow along with it, and maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, and you just randomly try some stuff, and you throw some money in, and not a good idea. So I, don't, I know that I don't know. Now I need to start learning. I start learning, um, but I get impatient because I'm spending a lot of time or a lot of money or a lot of both, and uh, so I want to you know, start recouping my cost real quick, and it's like, hey, it's an education. It's like go to college. You know, you pay 40, 50, 100 grand so you can get a certificate so you can maybe get a job one day. <laughs> you know, that's the idea. Uh, so, fortunately, you don't have to spend that much or you don't have to spend that long to learn how to do this. Uh, 
But education, you know, goal is survival long enough, meaning so I mean you actually have money to trade with after you've actually got past consciously incompetent to consciously competent. So as you're learning, you're demo trading, okay? Um, you will spend more money making mistakes than you ever will on your education, all right? Uh, if you don't demo trade first. Plus, you're also developing out of the gate the discipline that is required for successful trading. And trading is all about you, okay? Because you can have the best system in the world that wins 9 out of 10 times, and let's just say it wins a dollar and wins and loses a dollar and it loses if you follow the system. But you know what? The problem is you did nine in a row and you're like, man, this thing's 90%. I'm going to go all in on the 10th one. And that's the one that loses. So now you end up losing like, you know, 50. You've you know wiped out weeks of earnings. Um, just because you don't have the discipline. See, discipline is, I mean, I'd say 80% of the problems I talked to about traders are not reading the charts or doing the trades. Um, 80% is lack of discipline, lack of risk management, lack of patience. And about 20% is actually learning how to do it. So, because what's funny is all the ones who I talk to people who how to do it have all the discipline issues. And so, uh, get that discipline down. Master discipline. Demo until you're consistent with real sizes. When you go live, one contract. You need to get to two. If you really want to start making money, you need to be in multiples of two. Otherwise, you're always going to take profits too soon. You're never going to let your profits run. Um, just because when you're when you have one of those days, you know, yesterday where you had a two deviation down move and you're short in the S and P, what are you going to do? You know, I mean, you're like, oh, and it starts bouncing a little bit up, and you're going to take it off. And I mean, you could have made a killing. You know, Nasdaq fell three percent, but you hopped out because you only had one contract. You couldn't write it. You didn't have the discipline to write it down. If you have two, you can. So you do want to get the two as quickly as possible, um, and there are different ways to do that with risk management. There's options. There's you know many lots on forex. Obviously on futures, you know you're sort of limited there. You got to do ETFs. So you don't get a lot of money out of that. That's fine. Your goal is not profit to begin with. When I say very small live, your goal is live money, not to make money. Again, it's still to survive, and now it's to add in that emotional aspect of there's actually dollars on the line. It's, I don't care if there's a hundred dollars on the line, or ten thousand dollars on the line, or ten dollars on the line. There's emotion. I remember, you know, being in high school and we go on our little academic decathlons, or we go, you know, um, you know, we're going on the road for our different you know, sporting tournaments and stuff like that. Uh, you know, our championship games and everything else, and uh, football. You know, we'd be traveling a lot for that. And so sometimes we have to stay at hotels if it's really far away. We're in Texas, big state, <laughs> and. So, of course, we'd always have a little gambling thing going on. We'd be playing poker, you know, and stuff. And uh, But we used fake chips, which that was allowed. But uh, the, all the fake chips had real values, and the real values had dollars beside, assigned to them, and we stashed that somewhere, like in the fridge or the freezer or a closet or under a bed or whatever. And at the end of the night, everybody cashed out. Uh, but if the coaches walked in, we were playing with plastic chips. But we knew there was money behind it. And, I mean, it wasn't like there was a lot of money. I mean, one, we were in high school, okay? I mean, you're talking like... You know, pennies, dimes, you know, nickels, quarters, you know, that's maybe dollars, you know, nothing major. Uh, but it was, there was real money, made it a lot more fun, it was a lot more interesting. And you didn't make, two, you didn't have to go all in all the time because it was just plastic chips. I mean, you put your 20 bucks in the, the, the game, you wanted to walk away with some money. So you actually may, you know, you didn't do stupid things and get lucky because um, you didn't want to lose it all. You wanted to walk away. And uh, you wanted to be right, all that fun stuff. So small. Small, small, small. Okay, I don't care if you have to go over to ETFs and you got to trade IWM instead of getting trade the Russell futures while you're learning. Now, of course, you can't trade them at night. Well, okay, what am I gonna do? Well, maybe you go over and you can trade the Nadex spreads. They have Nadex spreads at night. They have them during the day. Uh, just trade the master spread. At least it's capped risk. Okay, and you could do one tenth, meaning one dollar a pip versus or tick versus ten dollars a tick. Um, and you can increase your size and. You can figure out what instrument's best as you grow, but find an instrument, find a, not just an instrument, I like guess, in a symbol, but an actual, like, a derivative of that or whatever that is going to allow you to trade with really low risk. Just very small, live, get from one to two contracts, to shares, to options, whatever, you know, to many lots, and just get that mind and muscle memory down, get down that discipline, 
And then the next thing that's really important to really become consciously confident, because here's something, you know, you have to think about it a few times. But just think about this statement. You don't know what you don't know. Okay? You don't know what you don't know until somebody who does know is able to see what you don't know. Meaning, I don't know how many traders um, I've taught that think they know something. They've watched the video, they've been to the webinar, they've read the book, um, whatever. And they post up their trades and then there's a bunch of errors on them. Okay? And I'm like, well, your stop should have been here. Your entry should have been here. You know, and not like, it's not theoretical background benefit of hindsight. It's like, the rule said stop here. The rule said entry here. The rule said do this. And they're like, oh, I didn't understand that. I didn't get that. You know, um, like one of the number one things I hear is, oh, I thought I had to wait on it to close. And it's like, well, no, the rule says when it breaks the high by a tick. Oh, you know, even though that was never said. We, as traders, all of us, just tend to assume rules that don't exist. And in doing so, often miss the rules that do exist. Um, and the fastest way, the traders that I've seen that have been the most successful, that have lasted the longest, are the ones that ask the most questions, that put themselves on the line, that aren't afraid to be wrong in front of others, like in a trade room, the tiger's den, a chat room, whatever, they're going to post their trades because you know what? And they, they don't use the excuse. Here's the question. Well, I don't know what I'm doing, and I don't want somebody to follow me and lose money. And well, you know, They're not subscribing to you, okay? They're in the room. You're in the room. You're not there to lead them. You're there to make money. You're there to learn how to make money. And the best way you can learn how to make money is finding out the mistakes you're making because the best risk management you can do is to not take a bad trade. <laughs> Okay, and they're big boys and girls, and they can look at their own charts. Post your trades. Get feedback. Okay, it's one of the, I call it S12, and one of the biggest steps in S12 is socialization. It's a very missing component for many traders. They try to live in a box, or they're in a room to follow. All you see, all they do is they lurk. They just watch, okay? Or it's the trader that only posts their winning trade. Hey, I just got out of trade. I just made a bunch of money. Great. What about the other 14 that you didn't tell us about? Okay. Don't be that trader. That's the trader who won't be here for a long time. Or that's the trader who's going to trade demo forever. Okay. Be the trader who wants to make money. Be the trader who wants to get from consciously competent to unconsciously competent. Be the trader who's like, I'm going to put myself on the line in the hopes that I get feedback. And yeah, somebody may be really nice about it, may help me. Somebody may not, somebody may not answer me. So I'm going to be a total jerk. I don't care. I'm here to learn, and I'm going to get whatever I can out of whoever I can to become the best trader I can be, and I don't care. Because you know what? Nobody can remember how you did three weeks ago remember, or three months ago that you were the worst trader and every trade you called out was horrible. They're going to remember that today, or if they do, they're going to remember, man, dude, that dude was horrible. But, man, he posted a bunch of trades. He got it right. And you know what? He's awesome. Or they're not even probably, honestly, they're probably not going to remember how bad you were. They're going to remember how good you are when they see all your trades going out. And then people are going to start posting their trades and asking you questions because they see that you're doing well and they're trying to get it down. You've got to be part of a community. You've got to get feedback, okay? And of like-minded traders trading similar markets, similar instruments, you know, whether it be options or binaries or spreads or futures or forks or ETFs or whatever. Um, and so you want to get that feedback. You know, you want to follow people. You know, that's part of the education. That's part of the consciously competent. That's working with other traders. That's newsletters. That's signals that teach you how to follow them, not just blind, okay? Not just red, green arrow. Red, green arrow is good to begin with, but I want to know where the arrow comes from. You know, it doesn't mean I have to know the secret sauce, but what's the logic, okay? Um, you know, I'm big on the why. <laughs> so, because if I can answer the why, it ought to work on any time frame, on any market, and it, more importantly, it ought to work tomorrow, okay? Um, 
great that it worked yesterday, but why? You know, I'll, I'll people bring me these random, random indicators. And they're like, look at this. If you just did this, this, and this. And I'm like, okay, so why does that work? Well, I'm not sure, man, but it's working. And I'm like, well, we could do a full back test. We probably will see that it doesn't work as well as you think it does. But I can guarantee whatever you think is working, you've optimized your settings. And look at the next week without changing a thing. Don't change a thing and tell me the same thing next week. Well, I just had to change this. Exactly. You're going to do that every single week. Okay? Give me the why. But follow people who know what they're doing. Okay? And don't expect them to be perfect. Don't then expect them to always win. Okay? But expect to learn. Expect to empower yourself to make the decisions. Okay? That's what you want to be. You want to be able to, you know, learn how to do these things. And then I still subscribe to things. Okay? I still follow certain people. I know how to do all my own trades. I know how to develop all my own systems. It gives me ideas. Some of the trades I take, some of the trades I don't. You know? But I still do it. And I've been trading for a long time. And it's like, hey, I like to see, oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to check that one out. Okay? Um, but again, master discipline, demo until you're consistent with a real size. I deal with a real size demo account. When you go live, it goes small as possible on a one contract and quickly move to two. Okay, too many lots, too share. I mean, literally two shares. I mean, the stupid small. Because I don't care if you're trading pennies. Okay, it's it's about that you are trading pennies. You're not trading pl like fake. Pl I'm talking about credit cards, but plastic. Okay, so you're not trading clay here. You're trading some real, you know, dollars, real pennies, whatever, real money. Get in there, do that. Get feedback. Say, hey, here. I think I think I'm consciously competent. I think I know what I'm doing. Am I right? Was I right on this one? Was I right on this one? I mean, just blow up the room with all your trades. And you will grow so fast as a trader. You will get so many mistakes out of the way. And the discipline that you will have when you start posting publicly. Because, one, you'll get corrected when you're wrong, which is awesome. That's good. I mean, I please, when I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. I want to be corrected when I'm wrong. Okay. <laughs> You'll get better just by getting all the wrong things out of the way, hopefully, as many of those as possible. And you'll be a more disciplined trader. If you have to post all your trades, you know how disciplined you become? You don't take that stupid trade that you knew didn't follow the rules. You don't randomly do it. If you actually make yourself post every trade publicly, it's an accountability thing. You actually follow your rules. Now, you're not doing it so you can prove how awesome you are. You're not doing it so you can win. You're doing it so you can trade it well. And that really is the the landmark before you move from consciously competent is not trading to win, but trading to trade well. Okay? That's when you're actually ready to move forward. It's not about, man, I won three and I lost two, or I won this many and I lost this many. It's... I stopped when I was down a certain amount. I stopped when I was I hit a take profit amount. So we'll talk a little bit more about that last piece when we get back to this break. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFNN.com. Eastern legend tells of a fair maiden who was offered a rare gift by the king of the land, a bag of pearls. The king promised that she could keep the largest, most perfect pearl she could find with these three conditions. One, choose only one pearl. Two, remove one pearl at a time, accept or reject it. And three, if rejected, it would be lost forever. She began by looking at the pearls passing on many special treasures. She delved deeper into the bag and soon the pearls were replaced with pebbles. Sadly, she went home empty-handed. Folks, replace pearls with time because we cannot go back even two seconds. We live in the eternal moment of now. So when now are you going to take advantage of my offer to you, a subscription to my daily investment newsletter service, Mastering Probability, where you can experience the most incredible pearls for trading and investing, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator and Strategy. The offer? It gets better. A 30-day money-back guarantee. Don't go home empty-handed. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to the Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Join David Dwight as he keeps you up to date on the latest tech stocks while he uses his Power Law Vector Indicator to identify the best trades. The Power Trading Hour, next on TFNN. All right, folks, come on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. And uh, so we're just going through, we're looking at everything we're talking about. Just the steps of learning to be a successful trader. Going from unconsciously incompetent to consciously incompetent to consciously competent. And that final step, after you've mastered this one, you've demoed well consistently with real size. You went small in a very small portion. Very small, the smallest of small sizes you can do on the trades. You got the mind, the muscle memory down. You got feedback from other traders. You're constantly posting your trades. And finally, you're getting where you're not trading to win, but to trade well. And that really is the pinnacle of trading. When you've got that down, when you actually know what you're doing, you're following your rules, you're trading your system, you're learning to read the markets. It's not about being absorbed in a trade because you're not risking too much, and you're trading just to trade well. And then you actually can start allocating percentages of your account and increasing the size based on percent and decreasing the size based on percent as need be. And moving towards that unconsciously incompetent, or unconsciously incompetent where now you're just, you see it, you act. You don't overanalyze it. You don't wonder if you know what to do when this happens. Okay? And uh, that's, I mean, really, it's, it's, it's a journey. It's a hard journey. I mean, and you can do it the hard way. You can go in and you can trade live and you can throw the cash in. I just hope you have enough money to keep coming back because it gets very expensive and it gets very frustrating. 
and I want to save you that pain. So that's why I'm like, hey, do the education. Get the free education. Get the paid education. Trade demo. Survive long enough to actually get a clue. Once you got a clue, make sure you're working with people who know what they're doing, following along, getting newsletters, getting in rooms, you know, getting in things like the Tigers, then getting in other you know areas out there where you can do feedback back and forth and post your trades, put yourself out there, get down that muscle memory, start to trade live, trade small, increase the size, trade to trade well, so well that a win doesn't make you any happier than a loss makes you sad. Because what happens is it becomes inventory. Okay, I just moved in 300 boxes and I just moved out 200 boxes. I moved in 100 boxes, I moved out 50 boxes. I moved in 1,000 boxes, I moved out 200 boxes. Let's, how many boxes I have at the end of the day? Okay, I have another 1,000 boxes, you know, 1,200 boxes than I had when I started. Great. Boxes, not dollars, not win loss, not right wrong. Okay? Uh, so one, one rule we have is, you know, we don't, we make sure we never have more than 500 boxes go out in a single day. If we hit that, we stop. We don't have any more shipments, period, okay? Don't be a loser. A loser is not a trader who loses money. A loser is a trader who loses more money than they should be losing. A loser is a trader who risks too much money, who does too large of a size, who's too emotionally involved in the trade, who does it because they have to be right, who doesn't follow their rules, who doesn't follow the charts, who has an opinion. The market's going to do this today, so this is how I'm going to trade, even though the chart says the exact opposite. So, you know, and not just the chart. I mean, you know, your rules, your system. And things aren't always going to line up perfectly. It would be beautiful if they did. They're not going to, okay? But you just, you got to, you got to, you got to get down to the discipline and put all the pieces together for it to work for you. And if you will, if you'll focus on it and you'll you know, put the effort in, then you'll be amazed at the kind of results that uh, you'll be able to get as a trader and how much longer you'll last and how much more you'll enjoy it. So hopefully you uh, picked up a couple things today to chew on this weekend. And if you do, if you did, then um, you'll be the better for it. Y'all have a great weekend. I will see you next week right here on the Diagnostic Trading Hour. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. You're watching Tiger TV.